In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the main mixer in Record. The mixer was faithfully modeled after the SSL 9000K mixing console and offers a wide array of sonic capabilities for each channel. Within the scope of this tutorial, we won't go through every single knob or button on the mixer. This is, after all, a micro tutorial. And no, it's not because I don't know what each button does. Let's jump into it and start at the very top and work our way down a mixer channel. At the top of the channel strip, you'll find the input stage. Here you can set the input gain, reverse the signal phase, and also change the processing order of the EQ, dynamics, and insert sections, allowing you to insert the effects either before or after the dynamics section. Below the input stage is the dynamics section that features a compressor plus a gate and expander for each channel. There's also an individual sidechain input that can be switched on and off from the panel. Next stop is the sweet sounding EQ section. Here you'll find low and high pass filters for filtering out high or low frequencies and a four band EQ for cutting or boosting specific frequencies. The bell button changes the slopes of the bass and treble from shelf to a bell curve, while the E mode gives the mids a more gentle slope. Below the EQ is the insert effect section. Each audio channel has its own set of insert effects that can be controlled remotely from the mixing console. For a reason user, think of this as an effect combinator for each channel. Record comes with a large number of useful patches that you can load into the insert stage. The insert effects will be covered in greater detail in a later micro tutorial. Beneath the insert effects are the send effect controls. There are eight effect sends and they can all be switched to work as pre- or post-fader sends. An on and off button for each send makes it easy to audition mixes with or without certain effects. As expected, the fader section lives at the bottom of the channel. Here you'll find the fader control, a level meter, and also mute, solo, and pan controls. That about concludes our channel strip rundown. But before we end, let's take a look at these little buttons to the side. A lot of users will prefer not to have the entire mixer up on the screen at all times. Perhaps you only want basic controls while recording, and then switch to the expanded view when you're mixing. By using the mixer section's hide and show buttons, you can hide entire sections of the mixer that you're not using. Mixing in record. Easy as that. 